travel across America with me. This is our 10-stop walking tour of downtown Fort Worth. This is Stop 5, and this is the location of President John F. Kennedy's last speech. And as a reminder, free parking on weekends. That is so helpful. This memorial is located on the southeast corner of East 8th Street and Main Street. We celebrate the past to awaken the future. John F. Kennedy, 1960. John F. Kennedy started his last morning on earth in Fort Worth. This statue and other tributes call attention to this fact. This spot is well lit and a nice place to see in the evening or during the daytime, of course. There are many pictures and quotes on the memorial wall. On November 22, 1963, before that day's tragedy saddened Americans everywhere, the people of Fort Worth reveled in President John F. Kennedy's enthusiastically received visit to our city. Even though a cold, hard rain fell in the early morning hours, thousands gathered outside the Hotel Texas to see and welcome our president. The rain stopped and President Kennedy appeared on schedule to greet them. A platform had been erected for his speech, but President Kennedy first rode directly into the excited crowd shaking hands. He thanked his large, rain-soaked audience and began his remarks. There are no faint hearts in Fort Worth. President Kennedy spoke of global economics, national defense, the country's ambitions in space, and Fort Worth's role in aviation history. He challenged America to bear the burdens of leadership. You'll want to wait to the end of this video so you can hear John F. Kennedy's most famous statements. Later, at the Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce breakfast in the hotel, he delivered formal remarks centered on Fort Worth's historic and continuing role in national defense. As the motorcade traveled Main Street, thousands cheered and ticker tape rained from office towers. The sun was shining and President Kennedy's last two speeches rang in the ears of those who had been lucky enough to hear them. Jim Wright, Fort Worth Congressman and Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. Have you subscribed yet? I would really appreciate if you would subscribe. We'll be traveling down to West 9th and Houston Street for Stop 6 at the Flatiron Building. Stop 1 was the Tarrant County Courthouse. Stop 2, the Tower. The building has fossils all in it. Stop 3, the First United Methodist Church. Look at the marble in this structure. And Stop 4, was this man with a briefcase. What an awesome sculpture. This is an excerpt from his inaugural address in Washington, D.C. in 1961, and it contains probably his most famous quote. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. Tennis shoes on the ground. And classic road trip. Thank you.